Welcome everybody back to a new video and I hope you guys did enjoy my last video and that's probably why you're here because you want to know more. I just wanted to say that I do have Instagram and Twitter so just go look at that down below and anyway let's get back with part two of why being a kid is hard. So, second grade year, I had to leave school because of this kid. His parents wouldn't come in. There was nothing I could do about it. My parents wanted to talk to his parents. We couldn't do that. So, I had to change schools. I went to just, a, like, another a different school. I went to a charter school nearby. And that started off, like, there was, like, two or three months left in the school year. And I continued. I did that school for the rest of the year. That was, it was really good. I don't know. I really liked the school. Everything was great. Next year, third grade. School was always good for a few weeks when the teachers seemed to be on their best behavior, but then it would like slowly and slowly get worse until I was like really annoyed with the teachers and kids, and they would just keep making fun of me and the teacher wouldn't do anything, and I would literally just have trouble with the easiest things like being in the room or like without getting upset or angry about something. It just seemed like they really didn't like their lives and they didn't want to be talking to kids at all. And I don't know, like every single time I, I did something like a little teensy bit by mistake, they'd freak out and be like, okay, write six paragraphs about why you shouldn't do that anymore basically my parents went to a meeting one day and this is what they told me like after like after I was out of school but they said that when they were in a meeting they addressed some problems about the school and the school said we're not the problem the parents are the problem and after the third grade year they immediately took me out of the school and they put me back in the school that like was like my district school and keep in mind this was a different school because um I was in like the school that was from pre-k to second grade and this was the school that was from third grade to sixth grade so I wasn't in a different school but I wasn't sure if there was going to be the same kids in it. So they immediately put me back in that. It's fourth grade. This is my district school started in third grade and still sixth. And they immediately put me in. It's fourth grade. And I got this really, really, really nice teacher. Everything's great. Still having bullying problems. Like kids are bullying me, but it's not like tremendously terrible. Now that I think about it, I feel like I could have coped with it better. I'm trying to deal with it. I'm getting in the principal's office like once a week. Then they finally get me an IEP. So now teachers can't send me to the principal's office. They can't like call me out in class and stuff. And fourth grade year is way better. That was definitely the best year in that school. Next year comes around, I get this really old school teacher. This teacher that is, she, I don't know, everyone else liked her, I don't understand. And even now that I'm better, I feel like I still couldn't be able to deal with her. Um, I'm not gonna say her name, but like, I don't know why she really, I just, I really didn't like her. She was mean to my parents. She was really old school. Her hair was old school. Her outfit was old school. But that's not the point. It was like the way she talked and the way her punishments were. Like, she'd deal with kids in an old school way. Like, at some point, I was like, oh my God, is she going to hit me with a ruler or something? Like, like, actually, that's what went through my mind because that's how old school she was and that's how she acted. And a lot of other kids liked her. She was one of the teachers where you like on one day, and the next day you hate her and wish you were in a different school. The other kids got a little bit of this, but I just hated her 24-7. She was always mean to me. Um, I can't really remember this. But yeah, right now, really, all I can remember is one day this kid said something, and they were joking around with the teacher, and it was like everyone was looking at her. It was like just like one of the classes. And she threw her shoe at the kid. And everyone started laughing. He started laughing, and I was like, how is this funny? He just like actually threw a shoe at a kid. Like that's not what a teacher should do. If you're getting angry at me, if I like, if I like walk by and like touch someone on the shoulder and you get angry at me and send me to the principal's office, I don't understand. And so next year and thinking that it couldn't even get a little bit more worse, it got like 20 times worse. I had a 20 times more old school teacher and not like being mean or anything she was huge and like, she was very 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 intimidating so she'd walk into the class and everyone would like straighten up and like everyone was scared of her on the first day of school and then she gave everyone candy which everyone loved her in the beginning and so it, it was fine right great teacher everyone said she was a strict teacher oh no she gave us candy she's fine next day great next day great next day great next day great week three she's so rude 
At that point, I realized she wasn't the one that was going to change. I had to change. I was the one that was going to have to work on myself. She was not about to start doing something so that she could make the one kid in the class feel better. Anyway, that's all I got for today. And next video, I will talk about how I changed and what I did that I had to change my life. And my recommendation for this video is if you're going to talk about this, everything like dumb in your life, talk about everything good in it too. If you're going to beat yourself up and talk about how you're angry at yourself or how stupid you are, or how ugly you are, blah, 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 blah. You have to talk about how happy you are and how good your life is. You have to be thankful for what you have because many people are not as lucky as you. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.